Hello guys, in this video we will be discussing about construction of an ellipse by using parallelogram method. Dimensions are major axis 150mm, minor axis 100mm, included angle is 120 degrees. So let us open our AutoCAD screen. This is your AutoCAD. In this, the first step is every time we will check the limits LIMITS and press enter. Then we have 0, 0 is your basic limit and here also I am giving 500, 500 this is the upper right corner limit after that check units UNI TS units and press enter it is in inches but I want it to be in millimeters so I am pressing millimeters and pressing ok then now I need to construct a parallelogram uh, it's almost like an oblong method but in that we have a rectangle in this we are having a parallelogram that's the basic difference so I will select a line as per the given dimensions the uh, major axis is 150 and minor axis is 100 so I am drawing a straight line this is not coming like a straight line I will change it to ortho mode ortho mode that is F8 or then I will drive it this is how much 150 mm so I have drawn a 150 mm line like this after that I can I can directly give the included angle here itself what is that uh, i can give i can drag my mouse like this and what is the length uh, of this thing that is 100 mm you can see it is press uh, type it in here this is the 100 mm length which i am saying but angle is 90 degrees which is showing because it is a ortho mode is on so now i want to change that angle for that i'll press tab so that the angle has come you now the uh, blue color thing is there in the angle so here the angle is 120 degrees so I am pressing 120 and I am pressing enter you can see there is a line with 100 mm and 120 degrees is drawn after that this line will be 150 mm 150 mm and press after that we can directly use uh, mouse pointer to close it or you can press C and press enter so that now we have drawn a parallelogram this is one way of drawing a parallelogram or else you can also go in and draw it another way that is something like you can press line the 150mm line is drawn this thing you can draw something like uh, you can draw another line on the same line with 100mm like this now you can see that this is the first line and these are the two lines so this first line I will select and I will press rotate I will press rotate in the modify tool bar and select this as my base point and give the angle as 120 degrees in this way I can draw it once this is finished what I can do I can do something like I can use copy I'll select this line and press enter and from here to here I can move it in the same way I'll use copy command again and select this object and press enter I'll select this as my base point I'll use copy command I'll use this line and press enter I'll press this one and I'll use somewhere here. Therefore, in this way also I can draw the parallel. It's up to you, whatever you use. Now I want midpoint here and midpoint here. For that I can use line command directly and I can point out the midpoint here and I can draw a line. Or else, as told to you earlier, I can use copy command. I'll use this one and press enter. And I'll use, I'll, I'll press the object as uh, uh, mid uh, point base point as this one and from there I will drag it up to the midpoint so this is somewhere the midpoint is there. so up to the midpoint angle. so this is been copied in the same way you can also copy this line and press enter and select the bottom point as the base point and drag it up to the midpoints in this way also you can draw it so now as it is like, uh, like in the oblong method we have divided our parallelogram into four equal parts now you can give the names that is empty enter the names is something which should be taken care of the height should be very much important here also i will give something like 5 and press enter and the name is a and tick Let's tick so i will drag it a little bit nearer to it it will look good to me i am using ctrl c and ctrl v and i am selecting here this is my ab i am repeating this thing this is c and this is T. So I'll type them, it will be easy for us. So A, B, 
I'm double clicking on it and deleting it and see this is D. In the same way, the parallelogram EFGH, EF, G, and H. So this is your E and this is your F and this is your G and this is your no, not that one. This is your H. This is your H. What happened? It's not okay. okay. I'll double click on it. Delete it. And press H. EFGH. In the same way, the center point also should be highlighted. So this center point, this is zero or O. So this is your parallelogram and its major axis and minor axis. After this, you uh, as in the oblong method, what we'll do is that we'll draw a straight line from E to A and A to O. We'll draw two straight lines from E to A and A to O and press escape. Now change the point type. P T Y P E P T Y P P type and press enter. Instead of keeping like a dot, you use something else and press OK. I'm changing the size also, supposing the three point size and press OK. Now use division command D I V and press enter and select the E A line which I have drawn recently and press some four lines, four segments, four and press enter. So these are the four points. Repeat it. Repeat the command div command and select the AO line and press 4 because here also uh, like EA here also we should do for AO. If you do 4 points, if you do 4 points for EA, you have to do 4 points for AO. If you are doing 5 points for EA, we have to do 5 points for AO. That way. Now here also right. and then join uh, before that uh, give names for these things also. Uh, this one is one. This one is one. This one is two. Uh, one second. Yes, this one is two, and this one is three. This one is three. Therefore, the other points will become. This becomes one dash. This becomes one dash. This becomes two dash. This becomes two dash, and this becomes three dash. Now, what we'll do is that we'll join three dash to C, two dash to C, and one dash to C by using line command. By using line command, three dash to C, and two dash to C, and one dash to C. These are the three lines which we'll draw. Similarly, we'll join the lines from D to 1 and D to 2 and D to 3. These are the three lines we will draw. Use color coding which will be easy for you. That is one dash and one line I am selecting it and I am going to the properties toolbar and I am changing it to some random color. Escape then two dash and two lines I am selecting it and changing the color. Escape and three dash and three I am selecting and I am changing the color to green escape after that extend yellow color line up to yellow color line red color line up to red color line and green color line up to the green color line so here you have extend command in the uh, modify toolbar beside uh, where the trim and extend will be in the same location so if trim is visible extend is not visible if extend is visible trim is not visible so here i am pressing extend and i am selecting the yellow color line and I am clicking on it until it has reached up to the yellow color point, a line again. So red color to red color and the green color to green color. If you, if you move it like onto the line, it will directly show until which point it is extended. So that if you want it to be extended more, you can click it. If not, you can wait. Now there are three points obtained at the intersection points of yellow and yellow, red and red and green and green. Give them names. Give them names. Supposingly, we will give this one as P1 uh, for yellow and yellow, for P2 for red and red, that is P2 is for red and red, and P3 is for green and green, supposedly. 
P3 is for green and green. P3 is for green. Now join by using polyline command join A, P1, P2 and P3. P3 it is not coming directly uh, joining correctly because I have kept the points perfectly. So I am zooming it there and I am selecting the point correctly and I'm zooming back out by using more speed only I am going to result there and join up to C and then press escape. It is looking like a straight line. So for editing it I will press P, E, poly edit, enter and I am selecting the polyline and pressing fit. So the fitting is done. escape. Then I am giving, I am selecting it, I am giving some random color and I am giving some uh, some line weight. Line weight is not visible to me. For it to be visible, I have to press line weight display. This is the line weight display and press enter. Everything is finished. Now, many people think that anyhow, one fourth of the diagram is finished. We can use the mirror command and we can see. So, let me show you what happens if you use mirror command. I am selecting mirror command and I am selecting the curve which I have drawn. And I am selecting a object and press enter. And here it will ask mirror point line. This is the mirror line. Many people will think that. And press escape. Now you can see how the line has come. Because this is having an included angle of 120. Mirror image cannot be perfect. So we cannot use it. So this is waste. So mirror command cannot be used in this parallelogram method. Like in the case of the oblong method. In the oblong method, if we draw one fourth, it is enough, we can go ahead. But in the parallelogram, we can't go it in that way. We have to draw it for all the four. That means that we have to draw, you uh, have to use the process drawn here for the second uh, quadrant also. That is, we have to draw a line from F to B and B to O and press escape and use division command, enter, select FB line, use four and press enter. Again, repeat the command, select the OB line and press 4 and enter. After that, join these lines like this in the previous case. What I have done, we are drawing the same way. We are not even changing a single bit. Uh, even join C to 1 and C to 2 and C to. It has not come perfectly. I am deleting it and drawing it. Select first line and second line perfectly and draw. Again, use color coding the first line and first line. Uh, academy, uh, before what we have given, we have given yellow. Here also, I'm giving yellow. Again, second line and second line. Before, I have given red. Here also, I'm giving red. And third line and third line, I'm selecting it. I'm going for green. Yes, green. Second line. In second line, this is red. Yes, finished. Now extend these lines up to this. Since yellow should be up to yellow, red up to red, and green up to green by using the extend command. So yellow, red, and green. Everything is finished now. Then again repeat the polyline command from C to this, this, next point, and next point. It is not looking good for that sake what we'll do we'll we'll select it or we'll use pe command and press enter we'll select the polyline and use the fit command and press escape uh, what are the things given in the previous case everything will be given again the same color i'm using and uh, line weight is also so around 40 i'm giving it and uh, of course uh, the color should be same now, so I've, I've drawn it. Now, many people think that since this is a cross line, the mirror image has not come correctly. It will come correctly for the bottom line because it is a straight line. Many people think. So let us see that one also. Why shouldn't we see it? So, so I'm using the these two curves and press enter, and I'm selecting A and B and press enter. What happened now? It has not come like a uh, ellipse it has come something like a heart symbol so it is not correct because the ellipse has been tilted with 120 degrees that is what the information is given to us so this can be used that means that i have to draw for the third quadrant and fourth quadrant also it will become a little hectic job but there is a shortcut here what is the shortcut is that 
select these two curves whatever is drawn now and use copy command use copy command and from here to uh, move it a little bit beside and keep it somewhere like this here and press escape what i have done i have just copied what are the things are drawn what are the curve is drawn and i have kept it beside now use rotate command use rotate command and select this object what are the copied object is there select it and press enter and use any one of the base point, any one of the base point, any one of the end point, and rotate it with 180 degrees. Rotate it with 180 degrees and press enter. Now, what you will do is that use move command, use move command, and select these objects, select these objects, and press enter. And use this end point and shift it up to the A point. Once this is finished, your diagram is finished. So that means that here we can't use mirror command, but we can use copy and move command and rotate commands for obtaining the diagram very easily. Now almost the diagram is finished, but what is, is left here? We have to give the dimension. What are the question is there? In the question we have 150 mm, 100 mm and 120 mm. So let us give those things. If you are giving the dimensioning for an angular thing, we should give it in a angular dimension so that we have to go for Annotation, annotation toolbar you go, in that you have dimensioning toolbar, in the dimensioning toolbar, linear is there now, if you click on linear, you will get linear dimensions, like straight line things, this is the straight line thing, but if you want an aligned dimension, if you want aligned dimension, that means a little cross if it is there, further dimension, you have to go with the aligned, here CD line or EH line or FG line are little aligned, so therefore I am selecting aligned here. Yeah? And I'm selecting E and H, and this is how the EH dimensions are given. But also along with that, we have included angle of 120 degrees. That one also to be shown to us in the AutoCAD. For that, what you'll do is that you click on this again. In that, you have angular dimension. You click on the angular dimension and select this line and this line and give this like this, which will give the angular dimension. You see that everything is not visible to me. The dimensions are especially not visible to me. For that, what you can do, we can we can use D I M S T Y L E. The command name is D I M S T Y L E, and press enter. The dimension style manager toolbox will be obtained by clicking on modify. You can change the arrow size. Will arrow size will keep some three, and text size also will keep something like will keep some three, and press OK and press close then you can see the dimensions are visible to us perfectly even now the diagram is not finished what you have to do we have to give the uh, information regarding the thing that is mp enter i'll draw the arrow box here and change it to some size 3 and uh, whatever the information is there uh, the total information i'm copying it from the question and i'm typing it here i'm pasting it here and press ok it is not visible whatever the thing is there it is not visible how to make it visible we can press on the zoom extends here everything is coming like this onto the screen now what i'll do is that we'll, we'll drag it something like this and we'll use the arrow mark again here like this and uh, we'll we'll keep it a little beside so that it looks good and again i'm pressing zoom extends so with this the diagram is finished information is given name is given along with the diagram is there so this is how the construction of ellipse by using the parallelogram method okay bye